All right, so today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to initiate and use the talk back up here at the top. So there's a few different ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you how we've got it set up. I've got a talk back mic that's up here that's plugged into channel one on the back. And uh, it's just gonna make it to where we can end up not using as many inputs. So we'll hit the view button here. And what we're gonna be looking at today is gonna to be here on the talk back portion. So we'll hit edit. And you can see, you can select anything on top back A or B where you want it to go. So I'm gonna say I have monitor mixes one through eight that are active. If you wanted to use talk back B, you could assign it to main buses if you needed to. So let's say that it's going to our front of house there if we did that. So down at the bottom, there's the auto dim monitor, which I'm gonna let you guys listen to. Not a big fan of what it does because it kind of dims everything in the monitor, including the talk back. And then you have a bus dim individually that you can control over here, which is pretty nice too. So you have, which I'm hoping they'll make it to where you can change this at some point. Right now you can't. You can either use input 40, which might be something you need at some point, or aux 8. So I'm choosing to use aux 8. So you also have to where you can use push, latch, or auto. If you have it in push mode, it's gonna end up being you push it, hold it, latch is gonna be it latches on. And I'm gonna leave mine in auto because it's a really cool feature. You hit it once really quickly, it latches on. You hold it down, when you let go, it unmutes it, which is pretty nice. Or mutes it, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna show you how we ended up getting it set up. So since I ended up using aux 8, I'm gonna hit over on the board where you can see the 37 through 40 and aux in. And then we're gonna hit select on aux 8. I went into my sources, and let's see if I can see the menu. And then I ended up, I'm using local input one is how I routed it. So this little gooseneck mic is in local input one. It returns two here. And it gives you a little bit of options with what you can do once you do have it returned here. So we'll get out of the routing and uh, let you take a look. So I put an EQ on it. And the reason I put this EQ on it is you can really hear the uh, low frequency on this console with the way I have this thing gained up. So I'm gonna make it to where you guys can kind of hear what I'm talking about here. This is me talking through it and you can hear the EQ and I'm really far away from the mic by the way. I'll try to get closer in a minute. But I'm gonna turn the EQ off and just let you hear me tapping on the board. And you can even see on the low frequency it just retains it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. And still there, but a whole lot better. And I've got a little bit of just increase on things that I really think people need to hear, which again, right now, I'm like five feet back from the microphone. That way my head's not in the view. So that'll give you an idea. We'll come back off here. So you can do the EQ. You could even insert something if you wanted to on it, which is pretty nice. And now that's gonna be on this channel. So we have it on aux 8 and notice it's muted. And whenever I use the button, it unmutes it. And as soon as I let go, it mutes it. So I can press it and now we're unmuted or I can talk through it, press it again and it's muted. So it's pretty nice to be able to do this. So we're gonna go back into here and then uh, we've already got it assigned to the outputs that we need. So I'm gonna kinda show you in a second, I'm gonna get some tracks playing, what the auto dim does and what the bus dim does. So we're gonna go ahead and get some tracks playing into that mix. So you can hear what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and select and go back into here. And I'm gonna stand up to where you can hear this a little better. So right now, check one, two, check one, two. So this dims it down to where you can actually hear me talk. If I use the auto dim, it dims everything. And that's including my talk back, which I just don't think is gonna be as useful for what we need to do. So now I'm going back to here, and this is gonna be how much it dims the person's bonder mix. So I think that's really gonna get their attention if you decrease 18 dB. And if I get really close to the mic, it actually sounds pretty decent. So 
pretty nice little feature on here having the auto dim. I'll go ahead and let go. And it doesn't completely kill their mix and you, of course you can dial this to whatever you need to to help them out. But the good news on this is, stop that where it's not as loud in my ears. Uh, the good news is it's going to make it really easy to be able to talk to somebody that's got in-ears, get their attention, or even if it's monitors, you're going to be able to decrease the mix that's going on. So if you have some people who are just kind of jamming out, not paying attention to what you're saying, that you need to get the kick drum next, when you hit that uh, the dim button, which will get the auto back off, it's going to decrease it and get everybody's attention. So it's a cool feature. It's something that's already built in there. And the way I've got it routed now, I'm not using any of my true 40 XLR inputs, which is really nice. So hope this helps. If you guys uh, could please hit like and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And if you need any gear, just give us a call and have a great day.